<gasps> no! Darn it, you're too fast! No! That is genius, but no! You... <laughs> Oh my god, that is so good. Can you go slower? <laughs> <laughs> you you really should have had me. Do you want to know, though? I only got two hearts of damage. Yeah, I didn't have time. I was going to go all the way. <sighs> if you were crueler and put down a lava block bucket, I think you would have had me. But you're not. Well, I'm down here with you as well. I'm, I'm not done. Yeah, this is kind of awkward now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, you just tried to uh, kill me. Well done on I that. I was just, uh, I was just digging. <sighs> Nothing to see here, really. <laughs> you totally got me. Like, I feel so shocked. I've got to fill this in now. Yeah, good luck. Oh, oh, thanks. That's just like that. Just leave it for me to clean up. No! <laughs> Stop it! You're not gonna get me. I'm gonna win this thing. I tell you. I know it. You think? I think so, yeah. Go on, try it again. Nothing. <laughs> I'm invincible. Please oh! die. <laughs> when will you learn? It's not enough. <laughs> Please die. That was like two and a half. Oh. Please. You're not going to let me cut. I'm just going to look up and dodge, you know? Please die. That missed. Missed again. Please. Try better next time. <laughs> Get better, Gem. Get better. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were great at this. Used, I, I can't just... I'm not used to being able to not PvP. This is, this is all I got. <laughs> it's your Achilles heel. Well, that was not the first attempt on my life during the game of Demise, which is really heating up, especially right now, being the only white namer online. And I would like to mention, I read some comments from people saying that they didn't like the game of Demise because it was too like the Life series. Just so you know, Demise actually started on Hermitcraft in Season 6, so we're sort of revisiting an old game. And it won't last for long because people have been dropping like flies, but not me, I'm still in this. But as I said, not the first attempt on my life, as I went on an adventure through the Hermitcraft world, looking for all sorts of saplings and farmable materials, and for this, I actually needed to get my hands on some string. Is this the string farm here that XP's at? Yeah, well, I did find like like a, like a single spider spawner, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make it. Uh, just you know, like I don't need much string, yeah. so obviously it's always something to have. Uh, jumping down. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I can't follow you down, Corallus. I actually can't follow you down, can I? What if I create my own water source to get down? Brilliant. This will be fine. <laughs> this will be absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> Nothing's going to go wrong oh, here. Man. No, it's fine. Yeah, Hi. 100%. 100% okay. <laughs> oh, you tried. I would tried. never kill any of you. Well, I, XP's here. He's not killed. That's true. Right. That's true. And I would have killed him first, if anything. Uh, uh, you, you've already tried. Straight. I've tried oh. a couple of times. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's a spider farm, not a cave spider farm. So obviously, I totally saw that one coming. Now, the string was to make an item that hasn't been particularly well received, but I realized it would be good for something. This is the bundle. So I had quite a few items in my inventory already for my adventures, and I wanted to make sure I had enough space to pick up lots of items. Things like glowberry, drip leaves, cactus, our various saplings, these could easily fill up our inventory space, so with the bundle, I was actually able to store a bunch of other items inside of here. As you can see, we've got plenty of farmables for the future. And it's in this space down here that I just want to build some of those basic farms to get you materials for building and other projects. And it's up top that I want to have my storage area, but we don't actually have an up top yet. You see, I've spent my time grinding underground, planning another wonderful time lapse that will lead into a really cool build for our double skeleton spawner. And that's when it hit me, this isn't going to work. Now, every time I use the free cam mod, it does feel a little bit cheaty. It was once cheaty to log on with your camera account and look around, but now you can just tap a button and uh, move around like this. Well, here's the issue that I only picked up on after I got done digging out that area, which included removing that lava lake that sort of sat on the area between the two spawners. 
When I go close to this thing, it looks like it's active. I'm all the way up there on the surface. And when I noticed this, I was like, uh oh, turns out these things are really too far apart. There is no way to activate them at the same time. So sadly, we have to abandon that. And now I will turn my attention to the next phase of building our base. And down the front here has to be like the worst angle to look at this all from. You can't really see it until you get up above in the sky. When we have elytras later on in the season, I think this is going to look a lot more impressive when you're sort of swooping down into it. But for now, we'll have to do with the vantage points that we've got. And you'll see here that I've essentially built it up to the next floor. We've got this massive flight of stairs leading up to the top where there is this big open gap. Because on the top here is where we're going to introduce yet another build palette that's going to kind of contrast what's already here. But it's going to be an important build palette for setting the theme for the interiors. So we'll have something on this side, a tower over the back there. There's going to be a fireplace down on that patch of dirt and then a big old construction right here that will connect to this off to the side. So now we jump to the detach cam and when we zoom out like this, it starts to look pretty impressive. You can see where it's going. We get to focus on the interiors next. So this top area, I think this is going to be like a mementos area and the way to navigate up and down will probably be built into the building that's going to sit here on the opposite side we've got this tower i think there's going to be an elevator to take you to all of the different floors that there are so then jumping down here this is the biggest room this is where the storage is going to go and if we go around the back there's like this pathway hidden under and like a secondary area. I don't, I don't know what's going to go here yet. But the key thing for me is having fun with the interiors. Like this wall of cobblestone, it's kind of a placeholder, right? And with the floor as well, we're going to rip out certain blocks and make it look more interesting as we go along. But yeah, right now I need to get to farming some materials, specifically some wood, which is going to introduce the next big project that we're doing this season. I want to create a wood farming facility that is hooked up to a skeleton spawner. There's actually ones closer to where we're going to start this facility. But before I start waffling on about that, I want to show you something that I got earlier in the season. Look at this. <laughs> I got myself a horse, but his name is Name Tag, which is a throwback to season two. If you remember that, you are an OG. You've been around for a while. Hey, don't be pinching my golden carrots, buddy. Yeah, look, I got this guy. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and resist the elytra for a while and maybe just use the horse to get around the server. So this right here is the same mountain that's behind my base. And to the side of it, we have Jevin's fantastic build right here. Loving the green roof and the combination of blocks. It's really cool. I'm just somewhere around the corner there. And so we can also see the Rendog Tower as well as in this direction, very much off in the distance. That is Tango's build, I believe. And this is one of the new hermits, smallish beans up on the hill here. Anyway, behind this mountain that my base is behind, this is where I want to create something called Logland. As I have plans to automate lots of the different components that can be made with wood using the crafter, and it all starts in this area, just with a basic starter farm, right? So I've revisited this classic concept, which I haven't done on Hermitcraft for a very long time. And when thinking about the needs of different types of saplings, it kind of occurred to me that you could share a single row like this for multiple different types of wood that can just grow over a single sapling. But there's no reason you can't share that with the doubles as well, right? So for that, we've just got three rows of two wide platforms that can support most types of sapling. Of course, the mangrove and the nether woods are going to need something separate and, and bamboo's a whole different business. But eventually in this area known as Logland, I want to automate all of those things. So anyways, one of the big deals with this stuff is getting enough saplings back to continue farming them. That's why we've got hopper minecarts going underneath these full blocks. They'll pick up anything that lands on top of this. Here we go, they're going to disappear, bam. And then that one's going to disappear and it's going to get deposited down the end. Something I've realized lately is that you don't always need a hopper minecart unloader. There are four hoppers here in total, and because this thing isn't picking up a crazy amount of items, it'll deposit them into the chest. So yeah, this way we get all of our saplings and bits that we miss, and it just makes life a lot easier when chopping down trees manually. 
Now, did I not mention that there were skeleton spawners we could take advantage of around here? Well, I didn't check when I came to the area, but it turns out the skeleton spawner is actually right underneath the surface here. So that's why we've got this obnoxious pillar that needs to be disguised. And along with that, I've hooked up a row of hoppers. So everything goes to one location, which is underground here, right next to where you slay the skeletons. So you can get a healthy supply of bone meal. And look, I've got loads of logs as well as a whole bunch of trash and other things too. It's a great start to the operation. And when you're down in that room, you're activating the spawner. This time I didn't use free cam to find that out though. I did some actual in-game testing so if we just use the free cam now you can see here's the spawner room brings the skeletons across sends them up and then they'll fall down with one or two hearts of health to spare and then that means they're one hit kill now while i was working on this i was also live streaming and one problem with live streaming is that it's very distracting so when i walked through this nether portal i was looking at my other screen i was reading chat and then i saw a flash of white and it was all too late oh Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! I was I was thinking about the golden apple. Oh, why did I not think just a little bit more before I went through there? I was thinking about the golden apple. Oh dang! I didn't I didn't have it in hand. Well GG. Whoever that was. Pearl! Oh my god, Pearl. Oh, brutal. That was a great place to put that trap. Oh, just... Oh, I so wanted to win this game. And it just immediately makes you think, like, I could have waited a little bit and looked before I went through. Nope, I was waffling away. I was completely distracted. And that is the way that you get got in this game. Right, so like here, what I should have done is just hold shift. Then I would have been like, oh... What's this? <laughs> I couldn't even jump away. <laughs> wow, look how look how far down it goes. Like, no risk taken here at all. Get all the way to the bottom. That's the plan, it seems. But anyway, GG, well played. Well played. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's Pearl. Hi. Well done, GG. Oh no, dude. <laughs> well played. <laughs> That was... You're right. You died twice there. I was a bit worried for a second. No, <laughs> I was good. I just I tried to jump and couldn't reach, uh -huh. and then I then I was like, okay, I need to jump up and place a block on top of this, you know. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> I, I got to say though, right? Like, if I wasn't uh -huh. streaming, I would have been probably more vigilant. But I was just mm -hmm. waffling, you... not thinking, not looking. Th <sighs> that's exactly why we laid the chat. We figured that people might be like talking, distracted, and just yep. walk straight ahead. Not a lot of people crouch unless they're doing their very first portal. So yeah. So did you? How gotcha. long ago did you set this up? Ah, uh, maybe about an hour or two ago. Wow. Like that. Great. You timing. were on earlier today, and we we were nervous because we were doing it at the same time when you got on. And we were like, uh, oh no. <laughs> we. Someone else was involved. Maybe. Oh, I've got to get... Big Corrales. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, I've got to get my revenge, but not really. Um, so you're no longer a red namer now, right? Technically not, no. Both the Corrales and I can become yeah. grey now. <laughs> now I've got to target so... someone else. Shall I send now, False uh, a message? To... False, can you come to the <laughs> Never through my portal, please? <laughs> Actually, tell, you know what? Tell her to go through the spawn portal, because we trapped that one too. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, because now if get... there's another if there's another trap, I can just lure someone into it, and that counts, I think. Theoretically, yes. If you have participation in it, I it would count theoretically. I'm so glad it actually got you. Yeah, <laughs> you so I've long. been going around with my golden apple in my hand, and uh -huh. like I didn't get to it quick enough. I'm just wondering <laughs> if I'd have eaten it before, like would would I have survived? Shall I find out? Um, honestly. Maybe because we actually had to lower it about three blocks. Because if it didn't, if you're fully kitted out with all full enchantment, it didn't kill you. Yeah. So we so had Carlos had to this. experiment. We we have. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Right? Can I even eat it? Oh, I've I've oh. eaten my golden apple. No. <laughs> uh. 
We were going to do a puffer fish trap, but uh, we were just running into problem after problem trying to get that going, so... Ooh, you give me an idea. Do you remember... Uh... No, you wouldn't remember because you weren't here. Season In season six, I was the puffer hmm. fish pranker. And I got loads oh. of people with it, yeah. Well, there you go. You've already got something then. Go for, go for that. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Thanks Don't fall into me. any powdered snow. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll see you, pal. <laughs> Bye. That's right, my friends. I have been demised. I am now a red namer. And I think I found my weapon of choice for trying to trap another hermit. It might just be these pufferfish buckets. But that's something that I'm not going to do right now because I've been summoned back over to the communal area by none other than Mr. Rendog, one of our neighbors. H Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 I don't know who I'm seeing. Uh, where Hello. are you? I'm over here. I've seen Hello. him. He's up on his tower. Oh, he's oh, up, he's up there. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, oh, he's going to do it again. <laughs> we have great no, hearing. MLG. No, th this MLG. is quite awkward. Um, <laughs> Somebody turned my water vapor into a bubble vapor and I don't have a bucket of water. <laughs> Sorry about the delay, everyone. Um, <laughs> I've been up we here for the last the hour. <laughs> uh, here you go, Ram. Here you go. Okay. We're, we're, okay, there's the... Oh, God. Okay. You got to this. make this jump. Here we go. Oh, oh. God. I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss. <laughs> Yay! Good being, guys. <laughs> Good helping, oh, no. this gal. Good helping. I spawned back at spawn. <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. That's not, it's not that far of a It's track. not that far. I removed the water I think you hit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow! wow. Murderer! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. I have Hello. summoned Hello. you all here today for the very first gathering of the Ministry of Ministers. May the meeting what? commence. The what? Minister. <laughs> Whoa. What, what the? All heck? right. <laughs> what? Did the you guys what? not get the agenda? I, I faxed it over this morning. Fax? I don't have a fax. Yeah. Oh, what fax. year is this? I, yeah. I asked Secretary Corrales to fax everybody at 6 a.m. <laughs> well, no worries. I've written the agenda down on this piece of paper. All is well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Welcome, everyone. Look. I wanted to get us all together here because mm -hmm. over the last week we have realized that we actually live really close to each other. Um, if it's not really obvious yeah. by now. I mean, look at that and beautiful house right there. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I thought, you know, we've been talking about it and I thought maybe we should just make it official. We should just make a neighborhood and all live together. So, yes, I, um, I've put on my periwinkle blue tie and declared myself minist minister of ministering. I think if each of us takes a role in the neighborhood to make it more awesome, we could actually get this place sprouting something fierce into something amazing. Guys, just play along, okay? I'm a theater kid, please. Just just bear <laughs> with right. me on this, all right? I'm having fun. Just please, just humor me on this one. Uh, okay. I now oh, shall do, declare Ren. the ministers of our neighborhood. The minister of transport, the amazing, the incredible, the fantastic Falsimetry. Oh. Ministry of Ooh. Transport. Uh, oh. Please build our roads false, pretty please. That would be pretty great. <laughs> Please. That job sucks. Right. Please. Wow, clear. <laughs> the next minister shall be the minister of hell. What? Let's go, 85. Whoa. Please build us near the portal, please. Ooh. Oh. This okay. is your chance what, what, to redeem yourself for that disgusting Miss... pile of rubbish you built near my base. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oi! What do you I mean? Like I did not build it. In the neighborhood. I did not build <laughs> <laughs> Next up will be the Minister of Maps. Uh, there's only one of us that really knows how to make a map, and that is the wonderful Shut Mr. Beef. Shut your mouth. Uh, Beef, please make a map for us. For the oh, no, maps. more maps. Maps. Maps? <laughs> it's all... <laughs> is that enough? He's like, I'm he's out. Gone. He's going to his direct house. Minister of Food, Stress Monster. You've already been doing it, so gold star for you. Please continue to oh, make thanks. food for us, because I don't want to make food. Um, please can you me... do it, thanks. <laughs> Ministry of Idiots. A zoom of void. Please take care of a villager trading hall for us. We oh, need ASAP. thanks. Oh, that's where that was going. Oh, that. oh, yeah, okay. I thought you were going to take care of yeah. There was a well. huge insult coming or something. <laughs> uh, the Lost minister, one. minister of steel, the wonderful, incredulous, <laughs> hypnotized. Is that two E's or E A? Uh, I mean, I can steal things. <laughs> I can do that. That took. That took Every a town to needs a thief. In. Making us yeah. an iron farm or something. That would be great. Minister yeah, could... of uh, garbage. 
The wonderful, the beautiful Cleo. Thank you so much. Item exchange, please, <laughs> madam. Wow. If you wouldn't mind getting the on this. The of um, trash. <laughs> yeah. Finally, the most important role, I declare the minister of ministering to myself because someone's got to take care of all this. I'll, I'll do the administration. Wow. Don't worry about Big it. Surprise. I'll look after all the administration. Um, that's that's right. You put your legs up, friend. You lean yeah. back. You take it easy. I can't help but notice also there is one member of our team missing and... Uh, we're about to get a little bit soppy right now, guys, but it's the viewer. We have a task for the viewers out there, or I do anyway. Oh. Uh, we need a name okay. for this this town we're in. I didn't, I couldn't come up with one. I'm too old. Maybe the name, maybe the viewers <laughs> Honestly, can come I've up with one. It, I've just been calling it the neighborhood, very sinister, like. So that is quite that is quite sinister. But if the viewers <laughs> want to have a go now. at naming our our area, that would be that would be great. Okay. So that's one more project on our project list. And if you've got an idea for the name of the communal area, leave it in the comments down below. I'll be reading. And while you're down there, leave a like. Thanks for watching the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.